In our previous video, we discussed the two laws of reflection. Today, we will do one cool experiment that you can do at your home to verify the laws. Cover a table with a white sheet of paper. Take a comb and cover all its openings except the middle one. You can use black paper to cover them. Place the comb perpendicular to the white sheet of paper as shown. Now light up a torch. Throw its light through the opening of the comb from one side. Adjust the torch in such a way that you should be able to see the light on the white sheet of paper. Next, we place the plane surface of the mirror in the path of this light. What did you see? Did the light get reflected? Yes, you can clearly see the reflection of light on the sheet of paper. Represent this light with the incident ray and reflected ray drawn on this white sheet of paper like this. Also draw a normal to the mirror surface. Remember, normal is a perpendicular line drawn at the point of incidence. What are these two angles called? This angle is called angle of incidence and represented by I, while this angle is called angle of reflection represented by R. Measure these two angles with the help of a protractor. The measure of the two angles will almost be the same. They are approximately equal. This is the first law of reflection. So with this experiment, you can verify this law. Well, if you are still not convinced, you can take further readings by changing the direction of the incident light. Change this angle of incidence by moving the comb slightly. Make sure that the point of incidence is the same in both cases. That is, this point here is same as it was previously. But notice that this time, the angle of incidence is greater than the previous one. So by the first law of reflection of light, the angle of reflection should also be greater. And that is the case indeed. Measure both the angles and again you will find that they are approximately equal. Take two more readings to complete this table. Do you notice anything strange here? The first law tells us that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection and not approximately equal. Why am I using the word approximately? Well, there are chances of errors that may come about during measurements of things. We can refer to them as human errors. It also depends on narrowness of the light beam. Narrower this beam, more accurate will be the results. And this is the reason why we are passing a light through the small opening of the comb. Only a narrow beam of light from the torch passes through the small slit. This minimizes the error in the measurement. Also, one more thing that we need to keep in mind is that the beam of light is different from the ray of light. For example, in this experiment, the light you see is a beam of light. A ray of light is simply an idealization of a beam. We can see a beam, but we cannot see a ray of light. However, at this stage, we can think of ray of light as a narrow beam of light. And we will call this narrow beam a ray of light. <laughs>